Hi, my name is Eric Sheffield. Welcome back to the show. Now today we're gonna to talk about scientist George Robert Carruthers. So let's get started. George Robert Carruthers was born on October 1st, 1939 in Cincinnati, Ohio. Now he was the eldest of four children between Samantha Carruthers and George Carruthers Sr. Now George Carruthers Sr. was a civil engineer with the US Army Corps and he encouraged his son's interest in science. Now at the age of 10, with a cardboard tube and a lens he bought with money that he earned as a delivery boy, little George constructed his very first telescope. Now after George Carruthers Sr. passed away, little George and the family moved to the hometown of his mother in Chicago, Illinois. Now while in Chicago, George Carruthers visited many museums and libraries, including the Adler Planetarium. And he took a specific interest in the space exploits of the Naval Research Laboratory in Washington, D.C. Now in 1957, George graduated from Inglewood High School, and he immediately entered the University of Illinois engineering program. Now let's take a look at the degrees George earned while he was at the University of Illinois. In 1961, he earned a bachelor's degree in aeronautical engineering. In 1962, a master's degree in nuclear engineering. Also, he earned a PhD in aeronautical and astronomical engineering in 1964. In his own words, when I was in college, I was undecided about whether to pursue aerospace engineering or astronomy as my major, so I took classes in both. Immediately after he received his PhD in 1964, he accepted a position with the Naval Research Laboratory as a research physicist. While he was there, he focused his work on studying far ultraviolet astronomy and also studying the upper atmosphere of the Earth and other phenomena. This research led Carruthers to earning his first patent for his invention, the image converter, which detected electromagnetic radiation in short wavelengths. On a rocket flight in 1970, his image converter provided the first proof of hydrogen in space, proving that plant life was not the only source of oxygen on Earth. Further extending his research, he invented the far ultraviolet spectrograph in 1972, which was used on the Apollo 16 mission to the moon. Now, before we go any further into his accomplishments, let's backtrack a little bit and talk about what UV light actually is and why this made his invention so important. Now, ultraviolet light is a range of electromagnetic radiation between visible light and x-rays. So UV light helps us understand and take readings on things that can't be seen by the naked eye. Now, for the very first time, scientists were able to see the effects of pollution on the Earth's atmosphere and also see UV images of stars and see thousands of miles away into the solar system. Now Carruthers was awarded NASA's Exceptional Scientific Achievement Medal for his work on the spectrograph. As you've already learned, Dr. Carruthers achieved many things during his career as a scientist, but we're not done yet with his list of accomplishments. He was also awarded the Arthur Fleming Award in 1971. As it was mentioned before, he also received the Exceptional Scientific Achievement Medal in 1972, the Warner Prize in 1973, and he was also named Black Engineer of the Year in 1987. He was also inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 2003. And on February 1st, 2013, he was awarded the National Medal of Technology and Innovation by President Barack Obama at the White House. I hope you guys learned something new about George Robert Carruthers and his contributions to the scientific community. If you guys have any other historical figures you want us to talk about on the show, put a comment down below. Next week, we'll be talking about Madam C.J. Walker. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends, and I'll see you guys next time.